this is top secret destination of no. Nearly a thousand soldiers from multiple units kicked off Fort Meade's Army birthday observance this week with a three mile run. Hello and welcome to Meade Week. I'm Brian Spann. We'll have more on the Army's 248th in a moment. Also in this edition, the Marine Corps Cryptologic Support Battalion held a change of command. And there's a nearby option for those looking to get an official photo. These stories and more, but first a bit of traffic and parking news related to this year's red, white, and blue celebration. As we've mentioned before, it's coming up on Friday, June 30th. This year's event is open to the public, which means there will be security forces directing traffic to designated parking areas. By the way, we've also posted these maps on our Facebook page. Briefly, non-DOD ID card holders can enter the installation through the MAPES 175 gate starting at 5 p.m. All visitors 18 and older must present a valid real ID state driver's license or state ID card with photo or a U.S. passport. Visitors will then be directed to the exchange parking lot. We also have a couple of reminders for on-post residents. Security forces are encouraging you to walk to the event, but if you drive, you need to bring your ID with you. The reason is that once the fireworks are over, all traffic will be directed off post. Once again, Red, White, and Blue is coming up Friday, June 30th at 6 p.m. at McLaughlin Parade Field. Meanwhile, Fort Meade celebrated the Army's 248th birthday this week with a birthday run that featured almost a thousand troops in formation and of course the traditional cake cutting at the Freedom Inn. For this year's cake cutting, Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp and Command Sergeant Major Andre Welch were joined by the oldest and youngest soldier present, 57-year-old Staff Sergeant Evans Proctor Jr. from the 125th Cyber Protection Battalion, a National Guard unit from South Carolina, and 18-year-old Private First Class Jennifer Posey from the APAC Student Company at the Defense Information School. I try to tell our senior leaders all the time that they may not realize it, and we'll get it in their vernacular, but this is a power projection platform. We are, it's in the form of ones and zeros, and sometimes it's information, sometimes it's intel, and sometimes it's cyber, but we are projecting power every day around the globe from Fort Meade. Now here's a brief message that includes the Secretary of the Army, Chief of Staff, and the Sergeant Major of the Army. Be all you can be is more than a slogan. It's a worthy calling to stand tall for your freedoms, to make a difference and make history. For 248 years, a ready army strengthened our country because Americans answered their calling. Let's celebrate our history, make a difference, and see the possibilities to be all you can be. Happy 248th birthday, U.S. Army. On the hold. For 248 years, Americans raised their right hands to join the United States Army, to take an oath with pride and purpose, to join the Army of Possibilities, to build lifelong shared experience and credentials, to be all you can be. Happy 248th birthday, United States Army. Our soldiers and future soldiers are the Army's credentials that lead to endless possibilities. As a member of the team, I am making a difference to fight for our freedom. Happy 248th birthday, U.S. Army. Be all you can be. In other news, the Marine Corps Cryptologic Support Battalion welcomed a new commander in ceremonies held recently at McGill Training Center. Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Thomas relinquished command to Lieutenant Colonel Robert Spodarek. The support battalion is aligned to the National Security Agency with more than 500 Marines stationed in five states and multiple overseas locations. Elsewhere, the U.S. Naval Academy Photo Lab informed us recently that they're now accepting appointments for official photos from service members from all branches. To make an appointment, call 410-293-3572 or email photolab at usna.edu. In other news, the 70th ISRW Diversity and Inclusion Council hosted this year's Juneteenth celebration at the Potomac Place Community Center. This year's guest speaker, Lieutenant Colonel Thomas McGee, the 70th ISR Wing's operational psychologist. Celebrations like Juneteenth allow us to do a couple of things. For one, it reminds us of America's complicated history. A stark reminder of that slavery existed and should not be forgotten. Juneteenth is also about liberty. Both are important in increasing our understanding of freedom for all the many costs that have been paid by so many of the rights and privileges today we take for granted. Looking back at America's past and present honestly, helps us reduce replicating many of the sins of our fathers. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.